live events. This is what it's all about. We're about to see some high-level Madden Coltrane. Well, here we go. Draney won the first one. Kiv won the first one. Game number two of Group B. Old Coltrane and old RG on the call. And you know for a fact the winner of this game right here is going to secure their spot to at least advance out of the group at 2-0. So first and 10 here at the 22. Double tight end. Drini stretches it. But young Kibbs up to the battle. Drini in that Eagles playbook. Comes out in that single back ace. We saw Holly start off the game in that. We talked about it. That 12 personnel, balanced formation. You can run the ball out of it. You can pass the ball out of it. Drini sticking in that 12 personnel here, but goes to a shotgun look. Oh my God. Shady can't get away. On second down, two carries, two yards, third and eight. And I'm excited here. We've heard so much about young Drini Joka. And this is our first time Coltrane getting the call one of his games. It's been a long time coming. Exciting stuff. We're waiting for this moment. So Drini facing a third and eight. Scott Cole and RG here hanging out with you. Here on a Wednesday. The mad challenge. Drini. Throws it toward the outside. Whoa. Josh Norman with a big hit. And that's going to bring up fourth down. That was a good hit right there by Kev. Clicked on, made the hit stick at the point of contact. Drop pass by Drini. Fourth and eight on his own 24. First possession of the game. He has a decision to make. He's going to go for it. Look at that look. Oh, this is big early, Coltrane. This is where you can get all kinds of momentum if you're the Kiva. Needs to get to the 32-yard line. Great Good job picking up the off. blitz. Throws it into coverage, and it's picked oh, it. off. He's in front oh, of my God. God. Is that Come one-handed? On. It looked like a little one-handed snag off the tip. Kip would have liked to stay in stride and get it to six. Started a little bit on the oh. camera flip for the interception. Look at this. He's in stride. Oh. Camera flip. It's oh, like he little snagged it in midair, and now... Kiv is in business at the 28. Huge. It was fourth down anyway. Why not force it out there? Lucky that it wasn't a pick six. Thompson spins his way to the 24-yard line. That's going to make it second and six. That was big by Kevin. You saw Trini try to run the ball on his first, uh, you know, first down. Got boxed up a little bit. Went to the pass. Didn't work out for him. Now let's see what his number one ranked pass defense can do against Kevin. It's not just the number one ranked pass defense. He lets up the least amount of points per game. Oh! There's Pierre Garçon inside the 10 at the seven yard line. First and goal already for Kiv. Yeah, Drini, number one in points against Coltrane at 10 points a game. Number one in takeaways at getting almost two takeaways per game. And for his pass defense, he's only letting up 100 yards through the air a game. I don't think Kiv's too concerned at that, though, right now. He's already on the seven-yard line, first down. Hands it off to Thompson. Thompson gets a block. Fight for me, Thompson. At the two-yard line now, second and goal with two yards to go. That Chris Thompson item is good. That's from the Thanksgiving Day program. A lot of speed. 90 speed, 90 plus juke, good hands. A good value, right? That is, you know, that's, that's really what you're looking for is somebody that you can know you can count on, especially when they get out in the open field. Yeah, from the deuce close to the single back ace. Nice little goal line offense here from Kev. Needs to be careful, though, not to throw a book. Yeah, it looks like he's just going to run stretch straight to that side. Going to lose a yard here. It's going to be second and three. Oh, excuse me, third and three. Third and goal from the three. I told you I wasn't very good at that. Two and a half to go. Double tight end once again. Thompson, the lone back. He's in motion now. We'll empty it out for golf. The kids get key to the game. He said he needs to get points often. So you think if he gets stopped there, he'll have to Let's take go. three. But golf will take on. it in. He almost got that feeling he was unloading for a chance to spread out that secondary and take it in, and that's what he did. Good poise right there by Kev. 
And that's always an interesting thing on the goal line. It gets so stingy down there. If you have the opportunity to run with your quarterback and scramble like he does right here with Goff, look at him, rolls out. I'm just going to come right around Let's here, go. take it up to six. The second the user went left, he went to the right. Yeah, that's uh, scrambling with the quarterback has been a staple on the goal line for years. Just got to make sure he doesn't get hit. You don't fumble, turn the ball over, and good things will happen. And Kiv out no, to a 7 nothing lead, gets the ball at half. He's in control. And the, the experience advantage in this game blatantly has to go to the Kiva at a six live event. Dreamy here at his first. Setting. Yeah, last time threw an interception on fourth down. That led to points. Now facing the second and 10 from the 24. Petrini having trouble getting that run going. He said he's got to be prepared to pass. See if he can get that passing game going. Quick hike. Let's go! There's the pressure. Can't get it away. And he's going to be facing a third and 15. And, and let's be honest, Petrini almost pretty much flooded W last year. Had a, an easy ride to victory. I know W started fighting, started making a little bit of comeback. But now you're in an absolute fight with Kiv. Big not third. as easy as it was in game one. No, not at all. Third and 15, too. Got himself in an awkward situation. Got a dot, though. Great throw to the boundary, oh. to the 41-yard line. Cousins completes his first pass. That's Antonio Brown. Twerking it to the 41. Trini Joka. I like that last name, Scott. The Joka. Huge Broncos fan. What about him and Joel? Uh, Going to the same high school. Going to the <laughs> same high school. Woodrow Wilson High School in Washington, D.C. has produced two of the best Madden competitors we have seen in the last several years. Two top towers. Mm. 60 seconds left in the quarter. Drini trailing by a touchdown. How big was that third down conversion to keep the drive going? Needs points out there. Drini keeping it going. Joka, he says he's got the rest of the Joka clan at home. Mom, Josie, Dad, Ghani, his two brothers, Elvis and Matai, back home watching. Drini trying to represent his DC family. Ball's going to be placed at the 39. It's going to be third and one. 30 seconds to go in the quarter. Cousins in the gun. He's got McCoy on an offset. Motions, hands it off to Shady. Big time stiff arm. That'll pick up the first down. Moving the ball prolifically. Taking his time, not forcing anything. Through the one pick, but so far no other bad reads. Yeah, it was fourth down. He just had to let it go. Yeah, exactly. Lucky that it didn't get taken to the house. Kiv eventually scored. Seven now, rushes. playing a little catch up here. Yeah, seven rushes to three pass. I mean, he, he knew Kiv was going to have run the, uh, but he, he, he's at least trying to commit to the he's run here. He, he's making Kiv Brian set up that run right defense. Right and, you know, once you can get your opponent to commit to stopping your run, it opens up your pass a little bit. So it's not always a lost cause if you're not getting the yards that you want when running the ball because sometimes you just need to set things up. Second and ten. Hits him in the flats. Nice juke. Looking into a hit Smith over there to make the tackle. Third and seven. You hear Kiv right there. Drini juking into a hit stick. Needs to be careful of the fumble. You don't want one of those goons to put hands on you. Puff that ball out. Trips to the left here on third down. Cousins, great possession catch at the 17-yard oh. line. Nice find by Cousins. Able to bring it in for young Drini is Julius Thomas. One thing I'm noticing about Drini is look how fast he snaps the ball when he gets to the line of scrimmage. He doesn't give the opponent any time to make the adjustments they want to make on defense. Usually you, you get out there, you want to base the line, you want to press, you want to shift some linebackers, you want to shift your D-line. Drini's not having none of that. He's going to get to the line of scrimmage, maybe make a hot route or an audible, and then he's snapping the ball. Of course, he's got two number 89s on his team, Julius Thomas and 
He's also got Amari Cooper. I think that was Amari Cooper with that last possession. Is that a play-by-play -play guy's worst nightmare? <laughs> yeah. Only in Ma only in Mutt, huh? Only in Madden does that happen to me. Second and seven. Yeah, look at that. He gets to the line of scrimmage. And he's just snapping the ball. Wow. The Fight juke in. into the stiff arm. Now he's at the four. Drini's in business. Look at that run. Little Ew. juke. Throws him off. Fighting for extra yards. Putting it work. So second, uh, excuse me, first and goal from the four-yard line. He's, you know, answered back. You know, he got himself put in a tough situation on his opening drive. Gave up seven on a short field to Kiv. But now he's driven down to the four-yard line. Needs to punch it in to tie this thing up. It's going to be either stretch left or stretch right. Stretches out to the right. Good job crashing down. Maybe picked up half a yard. Still second and goal from the four. I like this 12th personnel. This is my favorite personnel in all of Madden. Two tight ends, two wide receivers, halfback. You can do a lot of things out of this personnel. You can pass, you can run. Real balanced personnel set right there. Oh, come on, bro. It's hard to tell really you know, which side it's that's, that's a going to. How to make that Of course, we've seen opportunities where they've run motion and made it flip the strong side and they run it back to the weak side. Yeah, exactly. When it's a default balance formation, and it's really easy to keep people guessing. Big third down here, Coltrane, on the goal line. This is going to be big. This is the biggest play of the game so far. Ball's marked at the two and a half here on third down. Sticking with Stretches the run. Again. Damn, man. And Young Kim oh. stands tall. And now a decision will be made yeah. for Draney, and he's going to kick the three. And why not get the points? You're statistically one of the best defenses in the entire tournament. You are the best defense pass-wise in the entire tournament. You know Kim likes to air the ball out. Maybe you can force a turnover. I'm not mad at Drini for going down there, just getting some points. What you can't have is a two-possession game at the half, and Kiv receiving the ball to start half number two. Yeah, that would be the worst situation Drini could get in right now. Yeah, Kiv's just too good to put yourself in that type of hole. But, hey, when you're dealing with elite players like Drini Joka, you don't know anything could be possible. Crazy group of Hollywood Dubby and Drini and Kiv. First and ten from the 23. The Broncos fan, Andrini playing the Seahawks fan, and Kiv. Kiv made that Seahawks club championship, lost in the final. And golf oh. slides down at the 27. It'll be second and six. And we will see Drini in that Broncos club championship. That hasn't happened yet, but he is qualified. He's one of those final four guys. He has a chance to represent the win that tournament, represent the Denver Broncos in the club championship. And if I'm the Broncos, I wouldn't mind having Drini be the guy to represent me. You got pretty good chances to win the tournament in that situation. Picks up the blitz. Goff repositions himself and then throws a dippity dot down to the 46. He's in business in plus territory. I would like a counter. Like, I need someone to keep track of how many bad reads are we going to see Kiv make this entire tournament. I don't think it's going to be many at all. Constantly rolls out, sets his feet, puts the right touch on the ball, gets the receiver in space. He just makes it look so easy, Scott. First and 10 now. Dumps it off into the flats. Able to pick up six yards, second and four. It's absolutely, I mean, th these last two games, these two and a half games, I mean, one and a half games, Kim has just taken what the defense has given him. And you're right, just perfect reads through the first six quarters of the Madden challenge for Kim. Might drop the young Kim and call him Dr. Kim, just operating. <laughs> Surgical the way he moves that ball through the air. Golf now. Got him. Wow. And there's Pierre Garçon. We pick up the first down. Uh-huh. Oui, oui. His guys are <laughs> his guys are just open, man. His yeah, guys are just open. It reminds me of Spot Me Please last year when he won the Madden Classic win. He, he doesn't need an aggressive catch. It's, there's a, not a lot of fluke going on. He's just get, calling the right play and making the right read. And he's doing it well, making it look effortless. Marching down. Striving effortlessly. 
Minute 15 on the clock. And Drini will use his second timeout, has one remaining. Second and five from the 11. If you're Kev, and you can give Drini limited time left in this second quarter, get yourself a touchdown, make it 14 to three, and then get the ball at the second half, it is not going to be looking good for Drini. Remember this possession. If you can hold him to three or force a turnover, and that is what Drini needs right now. Yeah, for sure. Passive plays from everywhere. Had B wide open, but it doesn't matter. Boy, it was laying on his chest in the end zone, but could not keep the possession. Some tech you would like to see in Madden. When the ball's kind of floating around on their chest or whatever, you want to see the receiver have the awareness to grab on and hold on to the ball. I have to talk to Rex about that one when we get back to the office. Look at this. Good read. Defense is there to break it up. You see the ball just kind of hanging around out there? Well, that's his second tight end. That's Lance Kendricks from the Packers. It's just a 71 gold. Base that was play. Eifert. Maybe it would have been a little different situation. Yeah, Third those, five. Those gold players are part of the base oh. team. That means you don't draft them. You get them for free. And the Red Sea parted. And a big sack is going to force Young Kiv to take three here. 65 seconds remaining. No big plays. He's going to have about a minute to do some work here before the half, and he's got zero timeouts, RG. Trini well, told us that he needs to be willing to pass the ball with zero timeouts, only a minute 01 left in the no second quarter. Trini's going to have to show us some of that passing attack right here, but you need to be careful to not turn the ball over if you're Trini. Oh, spin move. Yeah. Come on. Uh, takes it back to the 21, just trying to make a play happen. Yeah, that was when uh, stick work goes bad. Mm -hmm. Looked like he tried to do a spin up field, had, had, had a lane, went in the wrong direction, backed up on his own 21 right here, 56 seconds. What do you got, Drini Joker? Ball to 21. Oh, oh, steps oh, in oh, and throws a pick six to Deion Jones. And Dr. Kiv makes house calls. Wow. Look at this replay. User Lurk sees the playmaker, runs down. What a play by Kiv. You know when you're on the airplane, you got that plastic bag and kind of seat pocket in front of you? That's the look that young Trini had. If I saw that on the airplane, I would, I'd grab that plastic bag and say, no oh, big play. It's not, it's not going well for you right now. Oh, Let it rip. Let it out, man. That was a beautiful lurk, though, by Kev. He started up running upfield, and then he saw the playmaker circle, broke on it hard, fully committed to it, got the user lurk, man. He controlled the defender from the start of the play to the interception point. And what was I telling you, Gold Train? If you're Drini, you got to make sure you don't turn the ball over. Not only does he turn it over, he throws a pick six. Now you you feel like you got to have seven. Nice Straight juke. Thing. Gets out of bounds at the 41. That'll start the stop the clock with 40 seconds to go in the half. Remember, both of these guys representing the same organization, that Top Madden crew, topmadden.com. And hey, that's a good crew. I mean, four of our eight competitors come out of that camp here at the Madden Challenge. That's headed up by Eric Problem right. Nice little drive here. Clock's moving. Under 30 seconds. 25 now. Ball at the 39. Out of field goal range. And out of timeouts. It's ticking, too. That clock is ticking. He will throw this. Try to make a move. Clock is. You got to kick the three. You got to kick the three right here. Did you see how quick he got to the play call screen, went to special teams, got the field goal unit out? He's cutting it close, but he's going to get this kick off. You got to be careful not to get this block because the way it's timed up here. No, perfect kick. Right Ow. down Main Street. And so Drini throws the, the pick six, but able to fight back and get himself three. Only problem is, RG, you find yourself down 11, a young Kiv is going to get the ball to start the second half. Well, the thing that works in your favor is Kiv doesn't have a strong run game. So for him to really milk this game away and control the clock, it's going to be difficult. But the thing is, Kiv can move the chains through the air. 
Yeah. So if you're Drina, you're going to need that number one pass defense to come out here, get ready to thump, and make a play on Kiv like he made on you at the end of that half. Because Kiv got all kinds of momentum right now. And uh, the veterans on top with the, the young rook. Yeah, I mean it's it, it's it's crazy to call young Kiv like the the, the veteran at this point. Six he hasn't minutes. turned the ball over, guys. Take it away, gentlemen. Thank you, Scott and RG. Yes, young Kiv, the old man, the the seasoned vet of this group. Rico, you mentioned before this game, this is looking like it's Kiv's time right now. It kind of feels like that. What did you see in that first half? He's clicking on both sides of the ball. You've seen him, as RG said, he might not make a bad read all tournament. His guys are wide open. Right now, Drini is nowhere close to the offense that Kiv's running. And on defense, goons, grizzlies, they're everywhere <laughs> right now. It seems like he has that Seattle defense play playing like Seattle's defense. You got to tip your hat to the kid. Give a veteran. He's been around so long, he's got holes in his jeans. And then, of course, <laughs> he listened to a little motivational speech before the game, and Will Smith told Kiv to get Kivy with it. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> he's playing great football. Drini was playing very good football so far. Just that one mistake, that turnover, unfortunately, it goes the other way for seven, and that's something you can't afford to do against Kiv. But... Come out on this drive, get a stop after the half, and then you're back in business. But it's going to take all your effort, all your energy to slow down Kiv, who's looked really good so far. And he can't, you know, Kiv can't not play his game. He's got to keep passing the rock. Get Kivy with it. Get Jiggy oh, with it. You might nah, have heard of it. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> <laughs> We heard that Journey was the guy who listened to Will Smith before the game. But Kiv is getting Kivy with it now. Long story. We, that's right. We are seeing the top eight Madden players here at the Madden Challenge. But if you're an up-and-coming Madden player and you want to qualify, one of the best ways to do that is a live challenger event. Now, this season, one of the biggest ones was held in Las Vegas. Let's see how that event went. It's not only about the majors when it comes to serious Madden 18 tournaments. The Challenger event program is a key component in the Madden Championship Series. Big names in the Madden community, like Sirius Mo, True Boy, and the GOAT himself, Eric Problem Wright, made an appearance to showcase their skills and rack up those MCS points. But this contest series isn't for the professionals alone. Anyone over the age of 16 can enter these tournaments spread across the country and fight for a chance at prizes and tiered invites to an EA major. We really look forward to the Vegas tournament because we don't, none of us really travel around into a lot of the competitions. This is a big deal for us. What you guys are doing here is epic for Las Vegas. There's a lot of good uh, Madden players in Las Vegas that normally don't get the shine. This is my favorite tournament. I, I love Vegas. By the end of the weekend, Problem took first place for PS4 and last year's Madden Challenge champion, Beast Mode Mac, walked away with Xboxes. Even though some of the players didn't end up where they wanted to be, they still went home with an amazing experience. Anybody can play. It brings people together. I met a bunch of people through the Madden community, and you know those are those are my friends now. And they'll probably be my lifelong friends. If you're of age, come compete. It's great for the kids, and it gives them something to do. It's very positive, and you, you see the results. Hey, Sirius Mo, guess he didn't retire. <laughs> Sirius Mo getting the shout out, making an appearance at that Vegas Challenger event. Very cool. Want to remind everybody who's at home to make sure to tune in to the CW's EA Madden NFL 18 Challenge special, airing on Wednesday, December 27th at 8 p.m., 7 p.m. Eastern. We'll give you an emotional, competitive journey as these eight stars chase the dream of becoming Madden Challenge champion. Remember to check that out on the CW Wednesday, December 27th at 8 7 Central. We are going to have our coverage continuing on tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. And Friday, we are going to have the Mixer pregame followed by our finals. We will be crowning our champion. But right now, we've got Adrian Lawrence on the sidelines. Adrian? I am here with Drini, who's down 17-6 to Young Kiv. What have been your struggles so far in the first half? Uh, when I run the ball, he has like, his D-line is shedding really quick, so I really can't make a big play running the ball. And when I pass the ball, he lurked me, like maybe one, he lurked me to one time to the crib, and that was a big play in the game. If I want to come back, I need everything. I, I might need a fumble. I might need a pick six, whether it's one of them. But I need one of them if I want to, you know, come back in this game. He gets ball at half. This is huge. And I know you said before um, the matchup that you listened to some motivational speaking. Is there anything from that that you're drawing upon now? Yeah, I definitely, even if I'm down 11, it doesn't matter. I know I can come back. I just, ha I just, I believe that I can come back and that's all that matters. 
That's right. Congratulations. Or excuse me, best of luck in the second half. Thank you. Back right, to you well, guys. You know, she believes, obviously already congratulating him. Uh, he's going to be able to fight. We know that. I mean, every look, let's be honest here. All eight of these players, none of them are going to lay down. It doesn't matter if you get down 21, get down 28. I mean, they're going to fight because anything can happen in Madden. Right now, he's down 11. Young Kev's going to get the ball first. But he's got he's to anchor in. He needs like an opening stop to sort of sway that momentum back in his favor. Well, let me go back for a second and just say – like you said, their attitude is yeah. fantastic. For him to be down, he's not blaming the game. He's not saying anything. He, he acknowledged what he's done wrong. And he said, you know what? All I can do is fight and leave it all out there on the field, on the virtual gridiron. And that is the attitude of a champion. That's the attitude you need to have, whether it doesn't work, whether it does or doesn't work out for him in this game. An attitude like that is going to get Drini to many more of these events. I love to see the young buck be able to be that compo uh, posed, uh, poised. Fantastic attitude right there by Drini. Very impressive stuff. Start to the second half. Trailing by 11 to young Kiv, and Kiv is already dotting him up the sideline to the 36. This is going to be a big opening drive here for Kiv. And as you see, he just Kiv stays in this gun bunch, so it's going to be really hard for him to run the ball. Methodical. I mean, at this point, he, he's got a better chance of blowing him out than running the clock. At least right now, he's taking some of that play clock. Picks up the pressure once again. This time it's Keenan Allen. Ball out to the 42-yard line, second and four. Yeah, you see Trini getting a little aggressive on defense. A little spinner right there, all out man blitz. Take a look at the play selection here. Young Kiv, of course, had that pick six, so he's only run 13 plays. You got that bunch. You know, the quarterback just has all these receivers over here. And you can turn it back over here. You got the halfback along with that wide receiver. Just such a good formation oh. to make reads out of. Once again, brings that blitz up the middle. If he's had any success on defense, it's been with that kind of delayed looping middle blitz. Yeah, and he's sending the goons, and that's what you got to do against Kip. You can't give him time. When you say that loop, it's either one of these linebackers coming on that cross blitz. Crossfire to see if he brings it on third and four. Golf. Pass oh. time, throws off its wow. back foot, and T.Y. Hilton. Oh, my. It's just running Good in the pass, meadow. Boy. Butterflies picking flowers. Touchdown, Kiv. Right when it's looking gloomy for Kiv. Drini's sending the heat, playing some good defense. One stop Kiv and dials up a hot one. Four Look plays, at that. 77 yards. Go! A minute and nine seconds. Hell, man. Uh, who's got that guy? Oh, my Hey, that's a good play. When you're in that bunch formation and you send that slot receiver, you put a speedster like T.Y. Hilton up there, and you just send him on a vertical route, the safety's not over top, or you're in a cover zero. A lot of time he'll get over the top, and that was a free touchdown right there from Kev. And he's all over Listen. Young Dreamy right now. So you, you've, you've gave him the young tag. 24 to 6. You've already, you've already slapped the young back on Dream. I'm strafing and hits the McCoy shoots oh. and jives to the 27. Nothing lost, nothing gained. Second and 10. Dream in some hurry up offense here. Trying to get the tempo going. I like it. <laughs> Slips to the fender to the 39-yard line. New set of downs for Drini. He can need to play some flawless offense here in the second half, and he's going to need some turnovers. Good reads. Amari Cooper to the 37-yard line, and here comes Drini. And this is what I expected to see when he said, hey, I got to be able to pass the ball against Kiv. He's got a tempo offense going right now. Hands it to McCoy. Had a man to beat. Drug down at the 20-yard line. He's really finding space right now against Kim's defense. He's moving this ball in a hurry. Good drive right now so far by Joka. Coley fights his way. Got to be careful when you're running this hurry up. Players start to get fatigued on both sides. He's committed right now, Coltrane. It's hurry up. 
He's riding this hurry up out until the end of this drive, I'll tell you. Trips to the left. Back to McCoy. Doesn't have the speed nor the energy. Fights to the three. Now it's first and goal, and young Kib is like, this is enough of this nonsense timeout. <laughs> yeah, enough's enough, right? So now you get a timeout, you get a chance to hold the door. Yeah. We'll talk about holding the door. It's getting stingy here in the red zone. Possibly four down territory for Dreamy. Cut that goal line. Hands it off to Mixon. Joe Mixon, former Oklahoma Sooner. Kip, you know, he, he, he lives with the original hold the door specialist. And the run commit. True boy. Throws it to the corner. Oh, and Drini has line. scored. Oh, and that's going to make it 24 to 13. Oh, well, good drive by Drini. And you talk about the run commit. What Kip did right there is he pressed left trigger down on the right stick and made all his defenders crash down. Even those cornerbacks, they all commit to the run. Wide open for a touchdown. Only a 11 point game here, Coltrane. If he can get something going on defense, he's got to stop him. He needs to get it on special teams. It get pretty, pretty, pretty interesting. Good gain there by Hilton on the kick return out to the 44 yard line. Hasn't stopped Kim yet. It's T.Y. Hilton who's been having a busy day. Joff, Jared Goff, trying to put the names together. Jared Goff, 9 of 11. Had a huge day thus far. Four receptions, 112 for T.Y. And I'm telling you, I haven't seen the Kiva make any bad reads yet this entire tournament. And let's keep in mind, anytime Kiv's been knocked out of the tournament the last several times, it's been Mike Skimbo. And he's nowhere to be found at this event. Doesn't turn the ball over either. Golf. Come on. Oh my God. Whoa. A low pass to T.Y. Hilton, who picks it off the turf at the 31 yard line. Even when he makes a risky throw, it still turns into a completion. Look at that. 161 for a touchdown. That pick six is the difference right now. If I'm Kib, I, I want to see him take away as much of this play clock as possible. Keep the clock moving. Bunch to the left. Thompson gets to the 26 yard line. Make it second and six. And if you're dreaming, if you can hold Kid to a field goal here, it's still only a two possession ball game. Make it a 14 point game. A little different set. It's going to audible though. He's going to wait till this at least gets to 30 seconds. That way, this will be the last play in the third quarter, assuming he completes the pass or runs the ball. Garcon in the slot. Golf going up top to Keenan Allen. Can't get the second foot down. It's going to make it third and six. Wow, RG. Yo, Kiv tried to scum him right there. Straight up, Scott. Looked like he was just going to run the ball, take his time, take it to the four audibles, to the four verticals, hikes it, goes up top, had the touchdown, just couldn't execute. Out of Thompson, tries to juke his way, gets stopped at the 24. So it's going to be fourth and three. Now here's a stop. Even the field goal keeps it a two possession game. Yeah, you got to put the fours up. kiv has got to make sure he kicks this ball perfectly so he doesn't get his field goal blocked. That would be devastating for him. I know we keep bringing that up, but we've seen it happen. We've, no, we've we, lived it. It's real. This guy's lived it. It's a real thing. You got to be careful. Really not even in a block type play though right there. That, that's questionable special teams right there by young Dreamy. Guess he just feels lucky. You know, that's the first time that Kiv's been stopped. It's the first time today Kiv has not scored a touchdown on the drive. And he almost he had a guy open on the play before he just couldn't get his feet to bounce. I, I mean, you play Madden 18, I play Madden 18. We uh, know religiously. It, it, it's hard to move the ball the way Kiv's doing it. Like, this isn't, it's not all sunshine and rainbows out there on offense. Let's be honest, I'm running wham 40 times a game. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? This guy's a wide open. It's so impressive. 
It's a drag, nice spin move. It's going to be about second and eight. I mean, excuse me, second and two, eight yard gain. Poor Dreamy only has three incomplete passes himself, and two of them are intercepted. There's a fourth and eight that he got picked off, and then he had it through a pick six late in the first half. Right now, that's the difference. That play is the difference. It was. He's had a feeling, too, he was going to let something like that happen. When you got to get aggressive before the end of the second half in a game like Madden 18, where, you know, it's hard to get chunks of yardage, especially when your opponent's ready for it. You got to make sure you don't turn the ball over. And Drini suffering for that mistake so far. But and he's still got time. If he could score four minutes left. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. And he will take it in for six. In and we could have a touchdown game pending the extra point. That's just what Drini needed. And he's right back in this ball game. And that's why I was so impressed with him coming out of halftime, talking about it. I just need to keep my focus, play some defense. And here's the replay. Good stick work. Bounces off the block. Off to the races. Use the horse. Is that a new reference? You're throwing out there. You're, you're all geeked up Star for The Last Jedi. Star Wars is hot right now <laughs> on the streets. Use the horse. Lose the horse, Dreamy. Well, right now he's going to need a... Needs a stop. Needs a turnover. Yeah. Something that Kiff hasn't had happen to him. But it, as dominant as Kiff can be, one mistake, and Dreamy's all the way in this game. I mean, this is a close one. That's what I mean. I love Dreamy's attitude. He is not giving up. He is here to fight. There is a... Let's go! 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 let us go to tie this thing up before 05 here in the fourth. For all you young bucks, this is why you keep your poise. This is why you don't complain. This is why you don't give up. And you leave it all out on the virtual gridiron because things like that happen when you do. And we got ourselves a ball game, Coltrane. Shady McCoy having a big game. It is a seven point lead for Kiv. But Drini's got the ball at the eight, but he's inside the dead zone. Oh, my goodness. What a ball game. I love this game. Second and seven. It's worth noting that he could still pick up a first down. Stretches it outside to McCoy. McCoy is stood up at the six-yard line. Big-time hit. This will be a big third and five. I'm not sure. I believe this is four-down territory for him, Coltrane. Points are so hard to come by for him. He, he, he might take three and have faith in his defense, but Giadrini, you got to be thinking touchdown here. Goes to the air. Oh. He's going to get sacked back at the 13. Couldn't take a sack there. Now he's going to take the three. Yeah, he loves the clock to keep ticking. See when you get that blue flicker after the kick, that means he kicked it perfectly and his kick couldn't get blocked. And stop, see Drina kick it perfectly more than a couple stop, times here today. The other thing, and I know you're always playing to win, RG, but it is a group stage. Every point matters. Yeah, point differential. Especially with when you're in a group like like this where there's no sandbag. Like, you know, sometimes you'll have a sandbag in a group, a guy that goes 0-3, maybe, you know. No, it's all killers. No, it, it is. You're right. They're all killers in this group. So first and 10 at the 23. Oh. Golf in the gun. Oh, man, you think Kim's feeling the pressure now? It's a big drive for him. He's been playing so good, but Drini will not go away. You talked about Kim's passing attack, running oh. out the clock. He's not set up for that. He's not built no, for that. Not he's at he's all. built for high octane. And the other problem is he's staying in this gun punch, and you see it, nobody's really open on that play. Is Drini starting to figure it out a little bit is the question. Loss of six on, six on the sack. It's not the same rhythm passing that he had earlier in this game. He's had a lot of success with these crossing routes. That's what you got to watch out for, I believe, for Drini. 2.30. Golf to Hilton. Works his way out to the 30-yard line. He's going to the two. 
Come Take on. this right all the way down to the two minute warning. We'll have a third and four. The good news is Drini can get a stop here, but he also still has three timeouts. All three of them bad boys right there, and those are going to be critical in this next set of downs coming up. Third and four, though, first. Big play right here. These guys are locked in. You know, group A, we had th just the chatter, and maybe it was just Joel. But yeah, it, was <laughs> it seemed Joel. like a lot more talking in group A. Group B, the stands for business. Eight lion. Big play right here. What do you got, Kimba? Good pocket. That's time. Oh forces God. it in. Low Let's throw. Oh my and it's God. caught at the 44 yard line. Oh they call that God. a hot one. Wow. They call that a hot one. Oh Look at that. Steps up. Under pressure. Oh low God. throw. Possession oh catch. Oh my God. That was execution at its oh finest. God. And Kemp knows it right there. Shows some emotion. Well deserved right there. Big first down. It's not over, but it's not good right now. And it's crazy that maybe he runs the ball here. I mean. Finally goes to the base. Oh. Thompson, he's got all kind oh. of room. And now he's at the 39. And Drini uses his first timeout, two remaining, 120 to go. So with these two timeouts. Carry the one. Minus about 30 seconds. We're going to have between what, about 45, 50 seconds? If, if he can get the stop. If he can get the stop. Kiv looking for him to run commit. This is the thing. Kiv just doesn't have a high-powered running attack. I mean, it, it, it's obvious. It, it's going to be a base. Goes back to it. Thompson picks up two. Timeout from Drini. Second and eight. Well, Kiv's been in some... Some absolute nail biters here in the first two. Seems like he's going to run away with it. But step for step has been draining. Needs a stop here on second and eight. Just one timeout left. Shoot a gap. Back to Thompson. Thompson. Now at the 32, you got third and three. Talked about how good these four are in Group B. Nothing but competition. Oh, when you get the best Madden players in the world up here on the main stage, these are the kind of games you could expect, Coltrane. Needs a stop. Doesn't have any timeouts left. And Trini's got all types of goons in the box. Goes back to the base. Big tackle. Kenny Strange. Oh. Let's go. No. First down for Kev. And yeah. he's going to move to 2-0 and in the groups. Wow, what a ball game. Drini has his head down right there, but he has nothing to hang his head about. He fought this entire game where most people would have quit. He kept on going, made it a ball game, but hats off to young kid. He is in the zone right now this tournament. He looks good. Well, it's the two interceptions. First one on fourth and eight. The second one was a pick six and I, by young kid, and that's the difference. And I haven't seen him make many mistakes. I mean, he had a sack fumble on his quarterback, but I always say it's better to take a sack than force a pass deep downfield. The quarterback just happened to fumble it. Kiv right now looks like a force to be reckoned with, and he is 2-0 in this group. And if you're in this tournament, you better start paying attention to him because that kid is one of the best Madden players in the world. Big team formation again gets the dub, 27-23. Young Kiv. Gets the win. Ah, shady was fighting. Boy, and here in <laughs> Group B, it's been all Kiv. He has 55 points in two games, Train. He is lighting up the scoreboard. Offense is clicking on all cylinders. And there's a reason why he's been to so many of these live events and one of the most consistent players we've had in the MCS era. And he just gets it done. He makes good decisions. He stays poised. And, man, that's a high-level Well, he had player. some plays go against him. Early on in the Madden 18 year, fought back, and now that he's here, he's like, hey, there's no skimbo in the field. I beat him to get here. This is my tournament, and right now he looks locked in. 
Oh, absolutely. And, you know, hats off to him. And like you said, he went through some adversity. But as Joker said about listening to Will Smith and accomplishing your goals, <laughs> these players have done that. They've set goals for themselves to make it here. They're here. They're leaving it all out on the virtual gridiron. And you have to respect it. I listen to Will Smith, but that was 1988. <laughs> Let's go down to Adrian with Young Kiv. Young Kiv, you got the win, 27-23. Seems you're in a zone. How do you feel? I just feel like I'm playing perfect right now. I really I really feel like I played perfect that whole game. I don't think I made one bad decision on offense. And then on defense, he was able to drive down the field with no huddle. And it was kind of because my guys were getting tired and he would – be able to pass the ball and then he'd run and get a big run and it, my guys weren't block shutting but we'll work on that I just feel like I'm playing like really well right now so I'm pretty confident and when you're playing perfect like do you feel like you're in a complete zone emotional zen how how is it um I feel like I've been playing well all year I, I've had a couple breaks that haven't gone my way and I um I feel like I've overcame that, and now I just want to move forward and stay positive and then uh, just keep playing how I can play. Well, congratulations. Dave and the guys. Thank you.